we're going to be looking at every single ultimate team of the season currently out. I am surprised they didn't give us any moments whatsoever. So, unfortunately, no Neymar. And to be honest, I'm very surprised because we had a week of him. He's still very expensive. And whether they're going to reintroduce them uh, kind of on the Sunday, maybe. I don't know, as a an ultimate mixed, maybe ultimate moments team of the season could be a nice thing. But at the moment, these are the players that have been released for Friday. And this is all we've got at the moment. So we've got a good amount of players going into this. And to be honest, a lot of them are going to be in that top category. But there is still quite a few that are not, basically. So if we go over to Footbin, you'll be able to see the prices of everybody. Surprisingly, some of them now, like you look at the Declan Rice, coming in at 500. We have got Rice. We don't have Rodri. It's a big one. And the biggest thing for this that I am so confused by... I get why they're doing it in terms of price. I know we have got Golovin, we've got Ferguson at like thirty to 40000 give or take. But we have no goalkeeper. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I don't particularly want to be packing Allison or Donnarumma every single time. But how do we have an ultimate team of the season with no goalkeeper? It, ma it makes no sense. Like Harry Kane, fair enough if he wants to go in net for me. But I mean... I just don't understand not one goalkeeper. Now, we've obviously got the uh, kind of the lower choices. We've we've got in terms of the men's side of stuff. We have got, like I said, Ferguson. If I can find him somewhere. We've got Ferguson. We've got Golovan. Both of these, I believe, if we look over here. Oh, and we have Savio as well. So, Savio as well. So, he's coming in at 50,000. Not a bad card whatsoever. Ferguson's 50,000 as well. And Golovan's 34. Now, in terms of these cards... They are the bug standard. Now, I do like Savio for the blistering pace. He, for me, would go at one. Golovin is definitely at the bottom. I, I just didn't get on with that card, personally. There might be other people that are thinking he's a little bit better. But for me, he just really wasn't anything special. And then we have Ferguson, who, again, is an okay card. Like, a decent play style plus. Decent stats across the board. But when you do compare him, he's just a very souped-up high level. That that literally is all it is, unfortunately. So, are you looking for coins to improve your team? Then you need to head over to lootbar.gg. The most reliable and the best coin service you can find. Also, they have incredible 24-hour manual customer service that you physically cannot find anywhere else. But before finishing on lootbar.gg, make sure you are using JT11 to get 8% off coupon. Once you've gone through the payment, you'll be able to get your coins within the next 24 hours absolutely guaranteed also with the code you'll be able to get five percent more coins on every transaction make sure you do click the link either in the description or down in the comment section below i couldn't go more than a for him personally just because it's it's a very standard card it, it really is when you look at it we also do have another one that i've just found we have schlotterbeck as well he's coming in at 47 surprisingly i he's actually not bad he's, he's probably in the the ranks of savio in my opinion he kind of comes up there he's a, a very decent level now we do have the likes of jude bellingham we do have virgil van dyke we have Haaland, we have Mbappe, and then we do have the likes in the mixed as Ronaldo and also Messi, wherever he is. Now, they are non-negotiable. Everybody knows they're absolute top. Oh, and Vinny, of course. They, they are just the top of the top. The prices of them are still astronomically high. We've got 12.3 for Mbappe, so at least he's not extinct. 4 million for Vinny, 4 million for Haaland, 5 for Bellingham. 4 million for Virgil, he's dropping down nicely. And then in the, oh no, not in the mixed, they're in the same. Of course they are, because they've done it all down here. So we've got Ronaldo at 5.5, and Messi is a whopping wherever he is. Can anybody see him? Because I can't. Am I, is he on the team already? Am I, oh, he's over here. 4 million, <laughs> honestly. So they are the easiest ones to vote, because I think, Nobody really has any questions about them. Of course they're top. Bellingham's one of the best box-to-boxes we've got in the game. Virgil's one of the best centre-backs. I'd say Mbappe's clear number one, but Haaland with a rapid plus. Ronaldo and Messi with their big upgrades. And Vinny being one of the best wingers you can get. They are an easy up there. Teo will be definitely the fullback, and then also Frimpong, wherever he is, is going to be the right-back. I don't think anybody could question that. That team is just absolutely unreal like th there is no questions with a team like that you would absolutely love it now we have got smith i think smith is incredible as well and like i say a lot of these should be in the s plus because they are the best of the best if you go back to every tier list that we've done 
they are all in the top category for a reason. Now, some have definitely dropped down since then, like some of the Prem lads probably are a little bit lower because we've now got a full selection of team of the seasons and tomorrow i think what i'll do is i'll do a full ranking tier list of every single objective sbc and release team of the season moments plus live we'll go through every single one to see where they all fit because there is a lot of cards and some of them are at very good values and i might stick it away from the s plus and and kind of go past a different sort of tier list. So I see if they're usable. Are they a cheap beast? Are they actually worth the coins? Because you could easily go for all of these and be absolutely fine. Like they, they will be number one, but whether you've got like 50 mil sitting in your back pocket, I doubt it. Whereas you look at someone like a Hanko, Aspil Equator as a free red card it was a phenomenal find. If you could just go and even if you don't play champs, you could literally just go and, and rubber band the matches and get an ASP. Fakir apparently was fantastic as well, but I personally just don't go to 13. I don't think it's worth it really. Um, to be honest, I probably would struggle now, especially not doing it and like not competing at that level this year, just staying at 11. I'm probably pretty comfortable at 11 now. So it's not even if I could easily go and get it. I would definitely have to grind it a little bit more because if you don't play against the best, you kind of lose that bit. Like the best of the best will always play at a hundred percent every single time. If you're just coast into 11 which you know you can do you're kind of beating out the people that are not necessarily gonna get to 11 and then having a good battle and maybe a 50 a 50 50 on the 11 winners we also have valverde i think quite an easy one sala is up there as well same as Liao. now when it comes to the likes of these like we've got a few others i don't know if there's any really many debatable ones to be honest even when we look at the female team lauren james is phenomenal in herself the 5-5 five, five, rapid plus and also a, a finesse shot i don't even think she's dropped down to be honest and it's a hard comparison because i guarantee i could put james in s i could go martinez in s i could probably go someone like a musiala in s but the question is, are you going to agree with me? Because I, I don't, I think they are absolutely in the top run-ins. But when we look at the team above here right now, I don't think I would choose anybody else. I'm thinking Bon Matti, I would definitely. I definitely choose Teo over Backer, but she's still a great left back. I do like Chawinga, incredible striker. I think Grimaldo is he's up there though, isn't he? I definitely choose Teo over him. If I'm thinking of a starting a, a starting team, apparently Ben Chan there, and to be honest, Kane's up there as well. Oh my god, I'm, I'm just putting everybody up there. I would probably say that would be my top line. Like I would, I probably wouldn't choose any of these players over what position we've already got there. Yeah, I I think I think I'd go with that. Out of uh, out of field is kind of one of them cheap beasts. He's not quite a Virgil Van Dijk or somebody like a, a Rio, but he's very good for the price that you pay fifty thousand coins. He's not going to cost you a, a dime really. Backer will go in the S. Dabina I did like. I thought she was a good card, but she's kind of just past it now with all the cams that we've got. Like we said, we've got Musiala, we've got Foden. Oh, I can't put them both in there. They, they've got to go in S, uh, S+. Plus. There's no way that they're probably the better cams because we haven't got a De Bruyne either. So literally we've missed out on... Uh, Inverts hasn't even got an either. My God, how many have they missed? <laughs> and I get it because it's ultimate team of the season. Lawan, I'd go in S. Now, I really did like Martinez, but I saw a lot of people going against that vote. I do think Liao as a striker was better, personally. He's better than Oshiman, but he's he's definitely worse as a striker than Liao. Liao was unbelievable. James. I mean, if I've got Chowinga up there, James has got to be up there. As a CDM, would I... I do think Rice is up there, but I think most definitely when we look at the center mids now, I, I, it, it's a hard debate rather than just putting everybody in the S+. Plus. I did like Hemp. She's an easy S. Grimaldo would be under Teo. If, to be fair, I did like Alfonso Davies more than Grimaldo as well, if I'm being real with it. Di Maria will obviously go in the S. Mares is up there as well. Now, in terms of Koulibaly... Was a very good card, very nice introduction. I think he was in the, the last mixed, actually. 100k, uh, aerial, slide tackle, bruiser. 
very standard for a centre back in terms of stats. There's nothing too crazy going on there. And I do think when we look at him in general, he's always been a solid defender. That that is naturally what he's gonna be. So I think for me, body type will definitely take over for him. We'll go into the S for him as well. Now, that will be the list. It's a very quick one because, obviously, there's only so many. Hopefully, we do get some sort of moments. I don't know if this is this is it now because a lot of them are going to be very difficult to pack. Predominantly, you're going to be packing these guys, maybe throwing a Koulibaly in there. And I think we got Dabina, so let's share 300,000 coins. Everybody else is absolutely millions, so... It, it's not as if you're going to be getting a lot of them. Like the whole team here, you've got one person just under a million. Then we go to the bottom, kind of a little bit less, near a million, near a million, a little bit further away, obviously crazy. You could get Hemp maybe, Liao. Musiala's only 600 now as well, which is just crazy. 260 for Di Maria, I'd absolutely take him. Even Foden's 800 now. There's just no chance that you get the top one. So... What I said in a grinding video yesterday is I personally wouldn't go absolutely top heavy with this now because it's going to have a weight that is ridiculous to try and get. I guarantee most of these ultimates would be packed in either champs rewards from reds because they're guaranteed or in the promo packs. I don't imagine a lot of people getting them from player picks. You'll still see the odd few, but most of the time you won't. And personally, with a month to go before footies or say like a month and a bit, where you're going to get all of these cards... I wouldn't stress out too much. I'd wait for the Euros, have a cheeky little week where you kind of grind in SBCs, maybe just trying to have a look at a very casual basis to try and get one of these. And the Euros is going to pop off with loads of cards that potentially could beat these out of the water. So let me know down below what you think. Have you managed to pack any ultimate since Friday? And I'll catch you all for the next one. Peace.